Hi, my name is Quentin Osbury, and I'm a product manager here at AWS. This quick start video provides an introduction to sharing, collaborating, and publishing the content you create inside of QuickSight with your coworkers and other users. As a fully managed cloud application, QuickSight makes it extremely easy and cost effective to securely share data and insights across your organization, putting the right information in the hands of everyone in the moments when they need it most. There's three different ways of sharing and collaborating inside of QuickSight, and each one is designed around providing your users with different levels of flexibility to interact with your data, from enabling power users to answer their own questions, to inviting team members to collaborate with you on building out and exploring an analysis, to publishing interactive read-only dashboards across your organization. For this demo, let's start with sharing data sets. Sharing a data set allows you to give other users the freedom to create their own analysis and visualizations from data that you control and manage. This provides the maximum level of flexibility to other users to answer their own questions and generate insights for themselves while still letting you govern the data they have access to. To share a data set, simply click on a data set that you own and click the Share Data Set button. This will open up a pop-up that lets you share it with any user or group inside of your QuickSight account. In the list of users that have access to a data set, you can see a drop-down that lets you give your users access as an owner, meaning they can edit, delete, refresh, and modify the data set just like you. Or you can change it to a user, meaning they only have read-only access for creating their own analysis. It's important to remember that any changes you or other users that have the ownership permission make to a data set will affect every analysis or dashboard that's been created from it. This central control provides easy governance over what data is available, when the data is refreshed, and provides you the ability to modify or delete the data in any content across the entire account. Now let's discuss how you can collaborate with other users on creating visualizations in the analysis mode. Sharing an analysis invites other users to collaborate on your project, meaning they can add new visuals, delete items, create filters, change colors, and essentially do everything that you can. This is a great feature for working together on a project, but is usually not ideal for sharing reports out to a larger consumer audience. To invite users to collaborate on an analysis, click on the Share button in the top right corner of the toolbar and type in the name of any group or user in your account. Once they've been invited, they'll have access to your analysis as well as the data set that was used to create it. Lastly, let's walk through creating and sharing dashboards. In QuickSight, the term dashboard refers to an interactive, read-only version of an analysis. Dashboards are the perfect way to distribute data out to larger, consumption-oriented audiences that don't need all of the flexibility and power of an open analysis, while still giving them a rich, interactive experience where they can filter, drill, and explore the information. Since QuickSight is a fully managed application, you can efficiently deliver dashboards and reports to hundreds or thousands of users without any additional servers or infrastructure, management, or maintenance costs making it ideal for large-scale distribution of information across your organization. To publish a dashboard, select Create Dashboard in the Share menu. Next, you'll want to give the dashboard a title. In this case, we'll call it Weekly Business Report. Next, you need to invite other users to view it. You can add users by name, email, or group. Once you hit Share, everyone will receive an email that the dashboard has been shared with them. Because QuickSight is a hosted application, your viewers will have to log into their account to see it. This means that it is always secure and that your viewers will always be interacting with the latest version of the data and content inside of your dashboard. So that's a basic introduction to sharing and collaborating in QuickSight. To learn more about other features in QuickSight, be sure to watch the rest of our Quick Start video series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.